Hello everybody and welcome to a live reaction from MinMax. MinMax is a place about games, friends, getting better. Pow, pow, pow. I'm Ben Hansen. Thank you for being here. I'm superhero in my way. On to the live reaction stream. I'm here with Jeff, the 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 human torch Marquia Fava. Did you hear that or did it? No, it, it no, it, it cut out. What cool thing did you do? Uh, I made a I made a torch sound. Oh, it sounds more like a tortured sound with the way Jeff Um's talking over here. This, everybody, is the Disney and Marvel Games Showcase. You know it. You know it as the event that happened September 9th at 1 p.m. Pacific, and it's available on Twitch and Twitter and all the fun stuff there. Uh, this is the big Disney thing, part of D23. I'm very excited about this. Um, I'm excited to see these new Marvel games. This been, It's been leaking like a sieve. Is that what they say, Jeff Um? I think so. Yeah, these Marvel games have been Sips leaking. Can certainly leak. They certainly leak. That's right. Uh, I won't even spoil what is out there for rumors and leaks and all this stuff, but it seems like this will be the place where we'll probably see the reveal of uh, Amy Hennig's Marvel game. Fingers crossed. I hope that it's a Fantastic Four game uh, because I made a video about how I think it's probably a Fantastic Four game based on a couple of clues. So if it's not, I'm going to have egg on my face. You would and look then like a fool. Our Lord and Savior, David Jaffe, he re-reported my video talking about how it's probably a Fantastic Four game. So if I'm wrong, then David Jaffe's half wrong, and then he'll be mad at me. Dude, just search his good name. <laughs> That's right. Uh, but uh, we're going to learn all about this stuff. There's going to be a lot of uh, fun games to go through. I'm curious what else they're going to be showing here. They'll probably uh, shine some more light on Disney Dreamlight Valley, that uh, free-to-play Animal Crossing game that we're going to be talking about on next week's episode of the MinMax Show podcast. Um, they'll probably touch on that a little bit but other than that everybody in the chat please uh let me know everybody what you want to see what are you hoping to see from this entire presentation like maybe god i want to say is this a good time for some like another teaser trailer for machine games's indiana jones game or would microsoft want to save that but in the push and pull between who gets the reveal microsoft versus disney who wins that dogfight jeff -um? I think Disney does. Yeah. You might be right. I think it's Disney. Do you think we're going to see new indie stuff? No. Okay. Good. I'm sick Absolutely of those not. indie games. Um, but hey, if you're in the mood for uh, Indiana Jones after this weekend because of uh, probably the big new Indiana Jones 5 trailer and all that stuff, uh, please check out The Deepest Dive. It's our huge community game club discussion, the best, most thorough discussion about games on the internet. And right now for MinMax, we're doing Indiana Jones and the Faint of Atlantis, um, where... We are playing through it with the community. You are welcome to play through it as well and then submit your thoughts on the first half of the game up until you hit Crete. So the first half of the game, submit your thoughts over on patreon.com slash minmax with two ends, or over there you can unlock the podcast version of The Deepest Dive, which is our huge community game club discussion. Because, man, just as a fan, I would like to hear people unpack Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, that old adventure game. It turns out, Jeff, I played the first half of it already freaking rules man it freaking rules and like we're gonna have a fun discussion about it and it's basically gonna be like a glorified podcast about a indiana jones adventure that you probably don't know about but there's a lot to unpack because what's better than indiana jones jeff can you name one thing better than indiana jones um no i can't exactly That's i just exactly thought right. of everything and nothing nothing lived up to it the smile of your firstborn son no. who who composed this YouTube wait music is what I want to know. Because it's become a staple uh, in the world of streaming. Uh, as always, let us know how the volume is throughout the stream. Hang on, I'll be quiet so I can see right now. Okay. That seems like a good volume so far, but let us know if you want it to be louder, quieter, all that fun stuff. Ooh, Kyle Silva wants a AAA Alice in Wonderland game. That sounds far-fetched, but... It's still one of the weirdest anomalies of newer Disney is the live-action Tim Burton Alice in Wonderland movie, which I considered unbearable to watch, even as a Disney fan. Um, that movie is like one of their highest grossing movies of all time. It is ridiculous. So I think it'd be interesting. Wild Hogs game. I'm more of an old dogs man myself, mm. Zach Elledge, but I understand. Wolverine. See, I think that stuff might be safe for like Sony. I don't know if Insomniac is going to get out here and show stuff, but... What do I know? I'm always ready to be surprised. About to find out. About to find out. I know my destiny. 
Volume okay, everybody? Oh yeah, Midnight Suns. Remember, the Force will be with you, always. Disney! <laughs> yeah, people think Disney owns Alien. Yeah. What that hap that happened at some point? Yeah, Fox when they bought Fox, so they own like Die Hard oh, and Alien and every Fox film. It's ridiculous. Jeff from Minmax is a proud Disney brand, didn't you know that? They bought us yesterday. I have not seen it reflected in my paycheck. No. World premiere. Tron? Ooh, Bithel Games. Disney. Oh, wait. Mike Bithel's making a Tron game? I am on board. Yes, that's mm. awesome. Congratulations to Yo, what's up? Hey, Sean blessing. Identity. What a way to start the show. Welcome <laughs> to the first ever Disney and Marvel Games Showcase. I'm your host, Blessing Adioye Jr. And today I'll be your NPC guide as you quest through game announcements from Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Lucasfilm, and 20th Century. Now, if you want to keep century. up to date with Bithel Games' first adventure in the expanded Tron universe, and their upcoming collaborations with Disney games, be sure to follow their socials. In fact, you should probably drop a follow on all the Disney game socials for more info. Couldn't hurt, Jeff. Um, I love like that. I love seeing everybody right so supportive of Blessing. You're doing it, Blessing. Yeah. He was on Trivia Tower, everybody. Hello. What are you? Mickey, what? Minnie, Donald, Goofy. In that Please new art style? Welcome to the world of Monoth. Hmm. Tell us what you need, Taku. Our entire world is in danger. I like this, Jeff. Travel um, to the three biomes of Monoth and retrieve the gloves of knowledge. Is it like Lost Vikings? Should help them. It's kind of like the new short art style, but a little bit different. Don't you I'm worry, into this. Taku. We'll do it. Hang on, the books are gone. <laughs> it's okay. We'll explain. Oh, I love TBD, this. TBD. TBD. Wait, are those placeholder words or the actual words? Yes. For Switch. Shoot. Cool. That was awesome. I got dibs on Goofy, y'all. <laughs> Disney Illusion Island. You don't gotta review it, Blessing. You know what? We, we shouldn't Switch critique. System. We shouldn't critique. And whether you're looking to run We're not here to critique Blessing, Jeff. Three friends as the Fab Four. You can put I'm it on your wish list. Don't blame today. me. Now, the if you've been wishing four. for more info on Marvel's Midnight Suns, I've got you. In this RPG from the tactical geniuses at Firaxis Games, you play as the Hunter, the first customizable original hero in a Marvel game. Lead Blade, Magic, Ghost Rider, Nico Minoru, and more in a fight against Lilith, Nico Mother Minoru. of Demons, plus the Elder God, Kathan, with revolutionary card-based tactics featured in this all-new gameplay trailer. I only liked the TBD joke, Neil Smith, so that's the, that's the flip for me. So weird Spider-Man's in this, isn't it? Yeah. Doesn't feel like a Spider-Man game. He's branching out. I like everything about this except for the cards. And I know I should be able to get over it, but it still is just a, it's a turn off for me, Jeff, I gotta say. Turn on over here. Oh, please relax, sir.
December 2nd. Do we have a date before? It got delayed. You heard what the trailer said. December 2nd. Marvel's Midnight Suns is coming out this year. Wow. On December 2nd for Windows PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X and S. Did not and see that coming. it's available to pre-order today. I think they dropped the last gen. Right now, we have a sneak peek of the intro for the set of new prequel shorts that gives a never-before-seen preview of the heroes that you'll be playing as. That's crazy. It's still coming out this year. I think everyone assumed it was just next year with the delay. They assumed wrong. Chef, um, and now they're gonna pay for it. That's right. Those are the kind of choices that affect the outcome. That's right. This is cool. <sighs> Blade bites people, Jeff. That's what he does. Yeah, Greg Seep says right next to Callisto Protocol. Yeah, is that how close is that to Callisto Protocol's release date? This is an interesting lineup of characters. I mean, Isn't it? It's it's cool. It's just a little bit of everybody, but kind of a darker version. So these are prequel videos, prequel shorts. Okay. Ah, cool. I like that idea. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna be dope. Be sure to follow at Marvel Games and the Midnight Sun social channels for more information. And now, here's some exciting news about a Marvel game you can play today. Oh, mobile. You got us again. Are you more of a Red Hulk or a Green Hulk or a Grey Hulk kind of guy, Jeff? Um, I prefer the classic Green Hulk. Boring. How dare you, sir. Have you been watching She-Hulk by chance? I have. You haven't? I have. You have? I have! I, I didn't know that you're a She-Hulk kind of man. Listen, I love that I show. Came here for the I really am enjoying the hell out of it. Yeah, is it only like reveals, two or three not episodes? Me. So far? But I'm cool I with don't that know. Because I want to see what's next, too. So let's get to it. Okay, all right. Blessing, you're going too fast, buddy. Slow down. Oh, hi there. You look like oh, yeah, someone who's snap. ready to join me on a wild ride to the multiverse. What's that? You have plans right now? We'll cancel them. Aquafina? Welcome to Marvel Snap. You can access it from this? anywhere. Your house, your workplace, it's the, um, bathroom at your workplace. Ben Bro, Ben Bro, is it his name? Most likely the bathroom, am I right? Um, the Hearthstone creative director. And it's as easy to play as solitaire. Actually well, easier. Look I don't think I've yeah. ever won a game of solitaire. But here's the twist. These cards are It's not out yet, right? Like the entire canon of Marvel characters kind of superpower. Maybe you, like me, would love to see Shang-Chi kick Thanos' evil purple butt. Or you've always wondered what the Guardians of the Galaxy would look like in 8-bit mode. Well, wonder no more. I kind of want to play yeah. this. Do it. I hey, mean, yeah. Leafeon says it's a lot of it's fun. It's easy to pick up really? and so it's much in beta? faster. It's in beta now. Okay. In other words, less time than a bagel play takes it, to Jeff, I Who doesn't have a bagel worth of time? So don't wait to explore a multiverse of possibilities. Oh, snap. Marvel Snap! It's time to make your move. The game launches on October 18th. Pre-register now at marvelsnap.com. Yeah, I can get with that. Don't forget to set a reminder <laughs> to download Marvel Snap on your Android and iOS set devices a reminder? on October 18th. What do you think we're doing here, Blessing? And be sure to stick around here for more Marvel reveals later in the show. Jeff, I might dare you to do that. But first, next year, gamers are set getting dropped reminder? into the yeah. middle of a Xenomorph outbreak in the tactical right squad-based action of Alien's Dark Descent. In this look at gameplay, I'm take your squad of Marines on missions right as you infiltrate and investigate the Xenomorph outbreak. Pre Develop your tactics, assemble your colonial Marines, and take on the Xenomorph hordes in Aliens Dark Descent next year on consoles and PC. I'm still confused. Slow but down, first, slow down. Let's talk about Avatar and revisit Pandora. 
An avatar that UI was Pandora busy. Will be immersed in the beauty and danger. I missed all of, the of it. I was <laughs> pre-registering Marvel Snap. Well, world. that's unblessing. He told you to do Navi. that. You'll explore new environments and interact with all new creatures, plants, and characters in the never before seen Western frontier. Fighting against the RDA in a brand new standalone story RDA. for PC and next gen consoles. I'm looking now from forward Pandora to, it. to a galaxy far, far away. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga destroyed sales records like Rebels taking out Death Stars. If you haven't picked it up yet, or you've already Good blown run. up I all the Death reference. Stars too, here's another reason to jump into the Skywalker Saga. New characters including Cassie and Andor, Reva, Captain Rex, and more are coming to Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga soon. Can't wait for Take the internet to be outraged about troopers, it. It's going to be sweet. We need a lightsaber or the force. Part of your way through the galaxy and get ready to expand your character collection. Oh, the Cassian. Galactic Edition comes out this holiday season with 13 character packs, including six all new ones. I think Blessing's excited to be characters. here, which he should be. Now, for those who don't know, Lucasfilm Games is known for more than just Star Wars titles. Today, the voice of Guybrush Threepwood, Dominic Armato, yeah. is here to share a look at the upcoming Return to Monkey Island. That's awesome that it gets Hello, this much of a pirates. spotlight. My name is Dominic Armato, the voice of Guybrush Threepwood. Don't be fooled by the name. The Monkey Island Adventure Series is about pirates, not monkeys. It's been a part of the Lucasfilm family of games for more than 30 years, beginning in 1990 with The Secret of Monkey Island. I want to be a pirate. Through the years, each game has been carefully crafted to feature the humor, clever puzzles, and sense of oh. adventure that made Monkey Island such an iconic video I don't know if I've ever seen Curse for Monkey Plus, Island art. That looked crazy cool. Outstanding standing voice acting, a wonderful new musical score, and a gorgeous illustrated art style. We've also put together an in-game scrapbook in which Guybrush Streepwood details his adventures and important moments from previous games. It's a great way to get caught up. Yeah, I gotta look up so Curse of Monkey Island or art. a fun refresher if you already know the whole story. We can't wait for you to discover the secrets hidden in Return to Monkey Island. Play it on Nintendo Switch or PC on September 19th. You got it, buddy. You can strap on an eye patch and celebrate Talk Like a Pirate Day on September 19th by picking up Return to Monkey Island. Can Lucas we just Stone buy the games game though? Isn't the only team bringing the nostalgia vibes today. No. Oh. Over the last few years, Disney Games has revived classics like Aladdin, right The Jungle Book, and The Lion King, and now they're teaming up with Empty Clip to bring back another classic, Gargoyles Remastered. Oh yes. A fan favorite that's sure to have you screaming like a Viking yeeted by Goliath. <laughs> yep, that's the scream. And while you'll have to wait to climb back into the world of Gargoyles Remastered, that is you can grab ridiculous. your phone and start unlocking heroes in this Gargoyles. Disney Pixar action RPG right now. What? God, this thing is flying! Boogie boogie? Oh, is it the Capcom game? Is that getting a remaster? Like the Devil May Cry game? Oh, never mind. Someone a little sinister. Oh, this is the mobile game? Get the job done. Okay, I started this thing. Doesn't care who they have to push aside. And it's your favorite game now? Yeah, actually, I meant to... Haven't I mentioned that on the Min-Max Show podcast? This is my favorite game now. Even if it means forging devious alliances to fulfill their schemes. Ursula's voice actor just died not too long ago. After all, this is all an homage to the Queen. Numbers, especially when that number is number one. Queen Elizabeth voiced Ursula? That's <laughs> yeah, she didn't like to talk about it much. <laughs> I'd suggest downloading Disney Mirrorverse and leveling up your teams, like now, if you're hoping to take on Hades Sing! and other villains dropping this October. All right, let's get into our next reveal. Game loft, eh? So Game Loft just released the Disney Dreamlight Valley. Oh yeah, forgot about this thing. Dish, 
throw a little Johnny Depp and make the internet light itself on fire. That's cool. Sully in the bomber's jacket. plays well. It's free to play. Coming soon. Give it dates, you coward. It's not already out, is it? No one knows. No. People also ask on Google, is Disney Speedstorm out? <laughs> no one knows. But Willy track, that's cool. Whew. Boy. Disney's got some IP. I wonder how many miles per screen Mike Wazowski is pulling. I guess we'll all find out together when Disney Speedstorm drops on PC and Miles console. per screen? And now, let's take oh, a scream through an idyllic Disney neighborhood. Whew. Oof. Okay, here we go. Here we go. People are saying this is good? Uh, it's interesting. Yeah, Sarah says it feels soulless. So that has me more curious to play it. Okay. I do want to check it out. People say that Sarah's streams of this game have been fun. Twitch.tv slash Sarah Pods if you want to watch her play in this thing. Hey there. Come on, how can this not be fun? Oof. Okay, freaky, but okay. I want to play this even more now. Oh my God. Woody, like you've never been tortured and haunted by him before. All right. Queen's reprisal. <laughs> Roger that. Yeah! All right. Look, I'm already gonna play ya. I'm already gonna boot you up right after this stream. Toy Story Adventure this fall. If you wanna help out some of your favorite Disney and Pixar friends in Disney Dreamlight Valley right now, good news, you can. With Xbox Game Pass or by grabbing the Founders Pack on your PC. But it's or free. Or just about every console you own. Now, for those who are looking for an action-packed MMORPG so weird to promote the game pass that you can play in the palm of your hand, look no further than Avatar Reckoning. Soon, you'll just, be able to battle for the future of Pandora on your phone, for but for now, pass? we've got Jared no, Yeager, I think it's just has an executive producer bonus stuff at in Walt it. Disney Games, here to tell you more. Have they announced Avatar Reckoning hey, everyone. before? Mm -hmm. I'm excited to give Walton you a says it's paid now the upcoming later. Avatar Reckoning. Oh. In this MMORPG shooter, you'll return to the moon of Pandora to find your own way in the aftermath of the Battle of the Hallelujah Mountains. Is this a As battle you royale? Your adventure, you'll customize your own avatar warrior. You'll also be able to collect and customize a range of weapons to prepare you for your journey. Oh, As you set out gross. across single player missions, you'll discover new regions as you unravel a mysterious story, encountering new clans and defending yourself from the perils of Pandora. I'm into from this, Jeff. I'm, I'm into this. the RDA this. forces. You'll also be able to play both with and against others in online multiplayer. Team up in instances to battle with other players, trying to survive against powerful enemies. <laughs> what the hell? It's battle just in dumb. player versus player mode. <laughs> so dumb. Please play this with me, please. We're just maps. gonna shoot these You'll be nice able to experience things. all of this <laughs> like and more when Avatar anything. Reckoning hits your mobile device soon. All right, you got me, Avatar. And now, another world premiere. Next Keely. Plus, didn't say kid. anything about that one. Yeah, no review just, necessary. Yeah. Oh, it's the Amy Hanna game. We'll meet again. Don't know where. Don't know when. But I Is it going to be Captain America? Some sunny day. Looks like a World of War Two. Smiling through 
just like you always do till the blue skies drive All right. the dark Easter egg experts find something good there it is wow so there were leaks about this I didn't believe them we got oh it is exactly what the leaks were Easter saying egg. wow King Captain Soldier Spy. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Oh, let's freaking go. No name? I know you're probably hopping onto Reddit to break down all those Easter eggs, but I recommend you don't tab away just yet because there's another world premiere uh, the from Captain, Marvel they, Games there was coming a shield your way in there that belonged right now. to Captain America. That was the <laughs> Easter egg I saw. Smart, man. Um, go submit it on Reddit. So no name for it, huh? Niantic, uh-oh. Oh no. Stop, oh, no, Niantic. You can't handle any more games. Stop it. Oh. I mean, someone just has to type, like, turn Poke Gym into Marvel and Center. And the Enter, first ever right? Disney and, that, and Marvel game, game showcase. I hope you had as much fun as Marvel I did. Center. I'm Blessing Adioye Jr. Thanks for joining us. It's been our pleasure Woo. to serve you. All right, everybody. That was whirlwind stuff. What'd y'all think about this thing? Uh, the Amy Hennig game, biggest Wait. tease, wasn't Fantastic Four. I tried to tell you it wasn't Fantastic Four, Jeffram. Why do they keep showing Star Wars stuff that they didn't show what during the stream? Next move. Uh, it's all part of the Disney thing. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, that was that was aggressive. People are upset that there's so much mobile stuff. Um, yeah, I like. I mean, the idea of Bithel Games making a Tron game that's captivating. I like that Monkey Island got its time in the spotlight. Let's look at this again. So it's Captain America and Black Panther. So this would be Black Panther's what grandpa? Like T'Challa's grandpa, then I wonder. I'm very that curious. No <laughs> Are they time traveling? <laughs> what do you mean? No, because it's like a succession line for Black Panther, so I'd have to imagine. Uh, Hydra, uh huh, uh huh, Hydra. That's a really interesting for. It's a really interesting combo. And the fact that they seem to be... All right, so you can be a soldier or a spy. Is that what they're getting at with the four players here? Four heroes. Yeah, who's that soldier? Generic soldier and then generic... I forget what the name of the Wakanda defenders are. Um, but also a spy? Maybe. Which one's the spy? <laughs> <laughs> the tinker and the tailor is the spy, I think. Oh, people are saying it's Bucky on the left that's interesting okay so writing this down four heroes two worlds one war so mark bernardin the co-host of kevin smith's fat man beyond podcast is writing on this and they teased the fact that he was writing on this and then they said that somebody guessed what it was going to be in the chat and so that's wild mm. that somebody guessed apparently that it's going to be captain america and black panther game that's that's a very specific thing. All right, how's everybody feeling? Scale of one to ten. How are you feeling about the overall showcase oh, let's here? Freaking go. I know you're the Disney and Marvel games showcase. Scale of one to ten. How's everybody feeling? Um, I thought it was. I thought that was fine. Uh, Gargoyles was on the screen for a bit. So I mean, how how much more Disney can you get? We got fours. We got fives. We got sevens. We got threes. We got fives. But then, once Niantic's new game popped up, people turned around on this sucker. That's right. That's right. Jeff, um, did this uh, move any needles for you? Um. Well, I pre-registered that one game that okay. I've got the name of. So all right. All right. Uh, in a couple Snap. weeks, I'm going to get some notification that a new game was installed on my phone. I'm going to think I got hacked. It's going to be a whole event. It's going to be sweet. 
All right, there it is, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed this. We'll be talking more about this uh, on the next episode of the MinMax Show podcast. You know, subscribe on your favorite podcast app. We'll be there waiting for you. And then also, please join us for the deepest dive on Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. It's going to be a wonderful time. Unlock the podcast version of that and help support independent games media at the same time. All right, there we go, everybody. Hats off to Blessing. Hats off to Jeffum. Hats off to Mickey Mouse and the cool new platformer coming to the Switch. Jeffum, time to do that classic sign-off, buddy, whenever you're ready. Haru, go somewhere else. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>